The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Coming up on today's show, for the 11th consecutive year, the Wisconsin Badgers were winners in their Big Ten opener, knocking off Northwestern on Thursday night in convincing fashion. One of the key players in that game was Nigel Hayes. We'll hear from the freshman on today's program, and we'll also sit down, as always, with head coach Bo Ryan. It's coming up on the Badgers Sports Report. Court for Wisconsin. The crossover shakes and now brings it back out between the circles. Badgers set the offense. A bounce for Duke and right wing. Crawford defends. Now Hayes rotates for Jackson at the left point. Trey off the wing. A bounce to Kaminsky. Low on the left. Goes up. Good. Off the glass. Kaminsky able to slip inside. It's 16 7 Wisconsin with 8.50 left till halftime. Jackson. Out on the floor, here's Gosser in the lane, leaves it for Hayes, drives the lane, throws it up left hand, good, it counts, and a foul. Nigel Hayes again on the drive and floats it up and kissed it off the board, and it's an and one for Hayes. Down the lane, right hand, slam dunk, Sam Decker. Inbounds pass to Brust, across half court, he'll hoist one up, he hit it, big Brust for three. Snaps off at three, right of the circle, it is off the rim and in. Jackson strikes again. Out the gossip for three. He hit it again. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board by Zimbrick Buick GMC, by Adidas, and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. They don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital. Pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health. Remarkable. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. I know something about winning championships, and at Zimbrick Buick and GMC, you have one. Zimbrick Buick's tradition of customer care dates back to 1965. And Zimbrick continues to provide each of our customers with high quality personal service you can rely on. I'm part of the Zimbrick Buick and GMC team, and you should be too. Going to do you duke it out there for the first time for Wisconsin. Now Jackson with a bounce for Nigel Hayes. Baseline left. Hayes going to work against Ola in the lane. Up. Got it. It counts and a foul. Oh, Nigel Hayes doing some work in this first half for Wisconsin. Ola the foul. That's his second. Start out with our reminder that this show airs various times, but as we tape this, Wisconsin coming off a victory at Northwestern to begin the Big Ten season. The Badgers 14 0, 1 0. And Big Ten play and 1-0 by the way in the Big Ten for the 11th consecutive year. That's uh, that's not the easiest thing in the world to accomplish, knowing how, you know, the, the intensity of the league and all that. But uh, you guys, you guys got things started in a pretty good way in Emerson wow. on Wednesday. 
I guess to put it in words, it's a good start. Yes, <laughs> it's better than the other. It's better than the other way. Yeah, I, I thought our guys stayed uh, really focused on on the task at hand. You know, a road game. Concentrate on on what we're here for. Uh, pay attention to the scouting report. The scout team did a great job getting us ready. So uh, it was. It's a. Uh, it's not always easy playing down at North. It's not easy playing anywhere in the Big Ten on the road, but. Um, I, I thought our guys took advantage of, uh, of what experience we did have uh, or that we did gain in the other 13 non-conference games. Yeah, you know, thinking of when we think experience now and, and think of Nigel Hayes, who would third be of the non-conference games. Nigel now 14 games into his college career uh, with 19 points, very efficient. He played, what, 23 minutes in the game and uh, just it's an early stage of his career and maybe we could call this a good start too but the development has been something that's been pretty easy for a lot of folks to notice i guess uh i would think so um he because he, he's been doing it on both ends he's yeah. played pretty good defense he's still learning uh some things about technique and position and uh but there's a lot of seniors still learning about <laughs> you know how to get better and, and things that you can do to improve your game at both ends, so he's uh, he's very receptive and he listens and he's uh, very intelligent. has a has a high basketball IQ. sees things probably uh, a step before a lot of other guys do. Um, and a lot of other guys on the other team, a lot of guys that I've coached over the years. I just watch some of the things that he does, and he's uh, he's ahead of the game. He is. Yeah, your team in the last two ball games. This is our first chat. On this show, since uh, the Prairie View A and M game, if you look at you know games where you, know, you look at the score and they're very nice, impressive victories for the Badgers, turnover number stays very low. Now, I'm sure in the teaching clips you'll show the four <laughs> miscues, perhaps against Northwestern, but that's a I think that's I a low number. You probably now. do, don't you? Yeah, but that's a very very. I mean, you guys are you know single digits on average turnovers per game. Uh, everybody else in the country would like to have that but that, that's pretty impressive you guys they didn't get sloppy when maybe it as we've talked before in games that are decided with a fair amount of time left they can but they just don't with your guys yeah I think they uh, for the most part they maintain their focus and and you know if you're doing it every day repetition is a good thing as long as the repetition is when you're doing the right things yeah. uh, repetition is a bad thing if you continually do the uh, things that hurt the flow of the game so taking care of the ball is extremely important. Getting a good shot each time down the court will give you a chance. It will definitely uh, swing things in your favor in the long run, especially over the course of a season when you're playing 30-plus games. Um, that's, uh, that's very important, and it's important that they keep the mental discipline uh, for, for 40 minutes because without it, we're not as good a team. And coming up next, a couple of home games for the Badgers, Iowa on Sunday night, and then uh, Illinois will come to town on Wednesday evening. Uh, the Hawkeyes, a team that it was pretty good last year, made a very good run into the NIT, and uh, the team that seems to have a lot going for it, maybe not the least of which would be depth. Looks like Fran plays 10 guys pretty regularly, doesn't he? And experience. I mean, a lot of those guys have logged a lot of minutes uh, even before coming into this season. So I think uh, that's about... Uh, that's about the best way to put it. They're winning, they're playing well, and, and you look out there and it's like they're the same guys. It's, uh, and I'm, I'm sure it's reassuring for them um, to be in that position. And again, it's another one of the pretty good teams in the Big Ten. Absolutely. Be a big sports day, obviously. There's some football game, I think, going on in the state of Wisconsin earlier on Sunday. And then Badger fans will come in here for the 7 o'clock game Sunday night. The crowds have continued to be impressive, Bo. And we touched on it before we started taping here. Many Badger fans, again, making the trip to Evanston. There was the lake effect snow, which made travel very tricky there. The Prairie View A&M game, the final regular or the final non-conference game, I didn't see many, if any, empty chairs. This, this is impressive. Yeah, I, going you on know here. what we found? Uh, what we find a lot of times over the break is that a lot of people that come back home that never really get a chance to see us play, jump on the, any tickets that are available. And now, of course, the way the internet goes and the way people can get tickets and uh, all the different sources, which I'm not going to mention, but um, <laughs> you know, it, it does uh, give people the opportunity to say, "Hey, you know, I'd like to catch the Badgers." They uh, I want to see this guy. I want to see that guy. Uh, um, so that's that's a good thing, and and they're very supportive, and and we really appreciate what the fans bring. Such a long way to go, but it does seem like maybe you get this same sense that this that the fans have, have 
they embrace all your teams here, but they're really enjoying this one. You know, it seemed like the, well, the they're players really showing. enjoying them, or they're trying to figure out, you know, what what is it about this team? What I mean, there's a lot of people scratching their heads about some things, but you know, um, I'm with them every day. I see the I see the weaknesses, I, I see the flaws, and I see the positives. I see the the things that we have to keep uh, accentuating as far as uh, points of uh, of knowledge and, and execution. So. Um, I'm, I'm trying to hide all the flaws sure. as a coach and our staff, uh, and players are trying to do that too. Players are trying to get better, but the game moves so quickly, and you know the strength and the athleticism of a lot of these teams that we're going to be playing in the league. It's uh, obviously going to be a, a big challenge. All right, seven o'clock tip on Sunday night against Iowa, and then an eight o'clock tip on Wednesday as the Illinois Fighting Illini come to town. Coach Reed joins us in a few minutes with this week's great game, great question of the week. We'll also hear from one of those freshmen who just talked about him earlier, Nigel Hayes. All that and more coming up as the Badger Sports Report continues. Back dribble, retreats outside right, shot clock is at four. Here's Koenig on the attack, leaves it for Hayes. Nigel goes up low in the left, and he throws it up and in. It counts and a foul. 9.40 to play, 65-37 Wisconsin. Koenig high on the right, the left-hand dribble, pulls up, foul line, jump pass to Hayes. Low on the left, takes it right on the reverse, layup good. When I first got here, I almost died the first practice, to be completely honest with you. Uh, the court's a little longer, the guys are bigger, they were uh, faster. So, you know, I had to, uh, my body had to adjust to playing this going from high school to this. So the first first couple of weeks, uh, you know, I was short from dying every practice. But, uh, you know, as you see from the last couple of games, uh, I've adjusted pretty well. The uh, What was the biggest key? I mean, uh, not necessarily wind, but, you know, muscle. Or what was the biggest key for you? The biggest key was just the, the wind. I mean, there's, uh, you know, in college, the uh, defense is better especially in the Big Ten, so uh, you always got to bring it on that end. As well as the offense we play, you're always moving, screening, cutting, so you have to keep moving the whole time. So really, uh, the win, once I got that down, I felt like uh, everything would be uh, easy from there on out. Pass fake left, throws it right for Bruss, five to shoot. Ben turning, right of the paint, leans in, leaves it for Hayes, up in traffic, good off the glass. Good work from Bruss, in panic. Hayes able to finish, 44-34 Wisconsin. Everybody always talks about the dedication that uh, you, that you have to put in to get the hill out of the way. You got to experience that. What, what was that like for you? And uh, the hill, I heard stories before. Usually the incoming freshmen aren't really supposed to know too much about it, but uh, we know I heard a little bit that it's challenging and it's hard, and uh, it lived up to every word that it was. But it's more so of a mental thing, uh, team, team camaraderie building out there. You're just out there with the guys going through something tough, and you all pulling each one through it, uh, picking up your teammates. If someone's you know lacking up the hill, you go, you carry them back up. Uh, so really, it's just more of a building a brotherhood bond type of thing. Knowing how many uh, front court minutes this team lost last year uh, with those seniors, how? Uh... How did you approach that opportunity? Was there something that you, you know, knowing that there were minutes there for you if you could go and take them, how, how did you approach that coming in? Uh, really, I tried to, uh, you know, shy away from that, not let people say, you know, you could be starting, you could be playing a lot. I just go in there, uh, make sure that I work hard, I do what I need to do in practice, and uh, if I get out there and I play, hopefully I can contribute. 3.45 gone by, Wisconsin and Marquette tied at five. Rust moving left to right across the top of the key. Now Sam Decker with the ball in his hands. Outside right on the dribble. Bounces for Hayes, posting on Gardner, squaring away, reverse layup, good. Hayes going right to left. 7-5 Wisconsin, we're four minutes in. When was it that you kind of felt like you had taken a step or you, you were ready to take on more and, and you know do things like uh, you did last night? Really, I give credit to uh, two of the teammates, uh, Jordan Hill and Trey Jackson. Uh, those two have been in my ear. You know, telling me that I have the ability to not only play with the guys, but to, you know, be a huge contributor and dominate the game. And uh, the last couple games, I've been doing that. Uh, everything's been going well. From the free throw stands, you know, he's struggling early in the year with my free throws. 
you know, kind of made me hesitant to play. I didn't want to do anything, you know, I tried not to get fouled. So it's sort of that type of play. But uh, once the game, what was the game? Eastern Kentucky game, 13 for seven from the line, it gave me my confidence with the free throws. And that, you know, let me know that I can uh, knock the free throws down and I can go score. And if I get fouled, I will be able to knock the shot down. What do you see as the, your strength on the court? Is there something that, that you, you think, this is, my, I'm good at this, I've got to improve at other things, but this is what I what I rest my hat on. I don't know. I consider myself a pretty good defensive player. Uh, you know, I, I can't you know stay on a point guard the whole game, but if the switch were to happen, I'd be able to hold my own against them. Or uh, you know, like the seven footers we played last night, I feel like I could uh, hold my own against them. You know, try to get my best battle with them. So uh, I feel like I contribute a lot on the defense. And the defense is all about the, the will not to let the other person score. So you know, no matter what the size, Coach Ryan always preaches not the size of the dog in the fight, the size of the fight in the dog. So really, uh, if you have the heart and the will to not let this person score, then uh, I'm sure you'll be pretty fine. Crosser throws to Decker high on the left, goes inside, caught by Hayes, low on the left, draws the double team, works through and up and in, nicely done. Nigel Hayes inside. Your first Big Ten game, 19 points. When was it that you felt like, hey, this is this might be a, a night that I can go off? Oh, this is going back to uh, those two I was mentioning. If you can see them playing in the background, Jordan and Trey, they were telling me that, uh, you know, I can score early in the games. I would uh, pass up shots, you know, defer to Frank or Sam. Uh, but really, you know, I just took it upon myself that uh, the person who's guarding me, like, they can't guard me. And all I have to do is just, uh, you know, make my moves and score the ball. and then. Uh, just went from there, shots were going in and uh, points were going on the board and everything's going well. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Here is a story I'd like to impart. A tale of a little girl's sick, ailing heart. It begins with her doctor and favorite nurse, then on to her blankie and polka dot purse. As we are the UW, it is doubly true. We have gizmos and gadgets all shiny and new. With talents and skill and brain power galore, we fixed Kennedy's heart, so she is sick no more. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. The buzzer beaters, the high school tournaments, the conference titles, truly the court of champions. Parker Street Productions LLC has acquired pieces of the basketball court used at the Cole Center from 1998 until 2008, now making them available to you. 61 teams walked off this court with a trophy. Now you can take home your own trophy, a piece of history. Log on to courtofchampions.com today. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. Think about it. Brought to you by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Um, that's a great question. I'm going to say Vito. Vito can, Vito's long and can jump. Um, I've seen him do almost like a windmill 180, so he can do some pretty cool things. Zach Showalter or Sam Decker. I mean, they can do they can do a lot of creative things. I mean, Sam's got his between the legs. Showy's got his under the basket dunk. So, I mean, they they they'd hold their own in the dunk contest. Uh, Sam Decker, because his arms are so long, and he can do more stuff with the ball than any of us can do. <laughs> I've seen him do it between the legs multiple times. So I say that's probably one of his best dunks. Or I don't know, he he's probably got some stuff up his sleeve that he's never even showed us that he's ready to pull out at any time. But Sam, 
probably Sam. He's got the most tricks in a bag as far as dunks go. It's got to be Sam. He can, he's the one that can jump the highest. He's got the best dunks. Sam Decker. Sam. Yeah. Hmm. Sam. Probably. Or Sam or myself. Trey Jackson trying to save, and he does to Sam Decker. A lob to Kaminsky, and he'll send it down. With two hands, it counts, and a foul. I guess Sam, but we're going to lose. <laughs> I mean, I've seen what other teams can do in their midnight madnesses and whatever, and they can do a lot cooler stuff than we can do, I'll tell you that much. Uh, we'd have to get really creative because we're not going to win off straight ability. <laughs> Not, not Sam. Sam's good, but we're not not that good. Up to the front court is Trey Jackson finds a back cutting slam, slam decker. That's right, Sam Decker with the slam dunk. Of course, I will. Go, I'll go up against any of these guys in dunk contest. It's just how it is, right? Right. That's how it is. My repertoire, um, you know, between the legs, uh, I can do a backflip dunk. Just kidding. No, in between the legs, uh, I can do some. 360 windmill stuff. Uh, I got some stuff I can do. I've, I've been in dunk contests before, so yeah. I took second in in the Kentucky Derby Festival dunk contest. Uh, Marcus Smart beat me out on that one, who should have been a lottery pick this year. So I, that's 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 a little pride for me there. I do. I have a little bit, and I got some videos to back it up. So if they have any questions, I'll show them. <laughs> I know something about winning championships, and at Zimbrick Buick and GMC, you have one. Zimbrick Buick's tradition of customer care dates back to 1965. And Zimbrick continues to provide each of our customers with high quality personal service you can rely on. I'm part of the Zimbrick Buick and GMC team, and you should be too. I'm not what the girls here would call classically good looking. I spent most of my youth in the dreaded friend zone. That all changed when my folks got Charter TV. I discovered tons of chick flicks in HD and on demand and learned all the secrets to romancing the high school girl. Now in a school full of boys, I'm the man. I'm the man. Get Charter TV starting at $29.99 per month. Charter, make way for more. Truth is, there are surgical procedures and medical treatments that only a handful of doctors can perform. Illness is so complex that only the preeminent hospitals in the world will take them on. These are those doctors, and this is their hospital. They are the world-renowned physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals inside UW Health and the University of Wisconsin. UW Health. Remarkable. As a strength and conditioning coach to some of Wisconsin's top athletes, people always ask me, what's the secret to top performance? I always tell them that what happens after your workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice? Be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time now for the Great Dane Great Question of the Week. And we normally don't give the last name of somebody, but this is somebody, well, I think you've heard of, Todd Kukon, <laughs> who uh, wants to know, and we'll tell you why I'm getting a kick out of this question. Why are the support people such an important part of the team? Asks an ex-manager, right? <laughs> well, Todd was our manager here at the University of Wisconsin, but he was also my assistant coach at Platteville uh, when we first went down there in 1984. Denny Morgan and... Todd Kukon uh, helped get it all started down at, down at Platteville. And 
Um, he's, but he's been in so many different positions. He knows how important fundraising is, how important the managerial staff uh, for every team, the, the importance of, of their duties. He understands all the uh, auxiliary, so to speak, but it's not auxiliary. Every part of a basketball program is the basketball program. So support in all the different areas that, that we receive here um, or at any other school where I've ever coached has made us what we are. I mean, you, you can only go so far with just what happens on the court. There's so many other things involved with travel and, and uh, compliance and, and all the things with the players, with the, uh, all the things through academics and uh, conferences and then hours in the community, at the hospitals and mm -hmm. working with disadvantaged uh, kids and, and reading to different groups throughout the school district. All those things have to be coordinated, and without a really good support staff, it just isn't going to happen. And I can tell you, Todd, thanks for the question, but you were one of the best at uh, coaching and being a part of the support system. There you go. Todd, thanks so much for your question. As always, we remind you the Great Dane has four locations in Madison, downtown, the east side, Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale. A reminder, the Coach's Radio Show will pick up again on January 20th, 7 o'clock on a Monday the 20th at the Great Dane Hilldale, and of course, there's a great game up in Wausau as well. We mentioned the game against Iowa on Sunday night, and then the other game coming up this week will be a Wednesday night, 8 o'clock tip Central Time, as the Badgers host the Illinois Fighting Illini. Join us next week as we recap the first full week of Big Ten Basketball 2014. Thanks for watching. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash dairyimpactwisconsin. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics.